right, guys. This today is Saturday, the day before Easter. So today is the last day of the month. So I have a special surprise for everybody out there. I know surroundings look different. I'm actually I'm in the school. <laughs> um, good thing that you work here because you have access. But I figured it'd be a treat that I bring this surprise to the event that's happening in the school today. You want to see what I got? Excuse me. Can you turn around in your chair, please? I got the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Easter Bunny's here, everybody. I know, I'm like a big kid, ain't I? So, I have the Easter Bunny. And the Easter Bunny's going to go out and do all this good work. Aren't you, Easter Bunny? No? Are you going to scare kids? Are you going to make kids cry? Are you going to give kids hugs and loves? What are you going to do to kids when you see them? <laughs> Alright, guys. Emma's Q&A is going to come up in a little bit here, and we will check you out later. Wait, bye, Easter Bunny. Blow kisses. <laughs> All right, guys. Today, oh, hold on a second. I got to pause my show so I don't come miss on, Leo, any move. of it. Move, Leo. Oh, he's going to sit down. Idiot. Sit. All right, today... We are going to bring to you shit the bed. Leo, back up. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the matter, Andrew? <laughs> I'm not excited. You're not excited for Don't what? Yeah. For shit the bed? <laughs> sure you didn't get me in there, right? When you pull the yes, I'm sure. You get the puppy in there. Gotta get the lovable puppy. Oh, this one's not broken. Mm. Wait, I need to smell it to see. It just smells like chocolate. <laughs> now we're gonna break this off. I'm not gonna do the challenge because I think the challenge, you waste the chocolate because they want you to buy more to flavor the chocolate, but. You are eating one and I'm getting, wait. Andrew, move just, closer just, to Daddy so I can get both of your heads in at once. Ooh, you can smell it in this one. Oh. This has got scorpion pepper in it, right? Is that what I told you? But it's not the last ingredient. Like, the other one, the last ingredient was... Ingredients is cocoa mass, sugar, coconut... Cocoa butter, coconut oil, whole milk powder, scorpion pepper, Vanilla bean, and that's it. And the other one was the other way around. The the the, the, the scorpion, scorpion pepper, pepper was the last all thing. Way out of the Cheers. I think. <laughs> Andrew just has it sitting on his tongue, where Andy's chewing. Hmm. There's a much bigger kick. Holy cow. <laughs> <clears throat> you know it's bad when Andy's coughing. <laughs> <laughs> that went down the wrong way. But there you go. That, that has a kick. I can see it in Andrew's eyes. <laughs> His eyes are going to water. <laughs> in a second it comes up and kicks you in the back of the throat and your tongue starts burning when you breathe out. Well, today's episode, as are you, you okay? see in the background. Are you going to be okay? We're I going to, I guess, going youper. <laughs> I'm crying. Paige is in the background today. <coughs> we got to get Emma in here. Yes, so we can, let me say, You're going to be okay? <sighs> oh, I can see. <laughs> Are you going to be okay? Yeah, but you're the sucker. You have the hiccups. I know. I get the hiccups every time I eat oh. something hot. That was hot. All right, guys. Peace out. Come out and check on the kiddo. <laughs> and he's got peanut butter. It's not open. He's got... He, it looks like he's crying. Look at me. It looks like he's crying. Are you okay? It's not helping. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, what do you got to say to everybody? Do you recommend them buy that chocolate and taste no. it? No. I do. I think everybody should buy it. It should be in everybody's Easter basket this year. All right, guys. Okay, guys. I just came and did some checking on my Mahogno snake. And today is the 31st. Saturday the 31st. Now, get some light in here on this subject here. Let me get some light in here. Wait a minute. There. As you see, let me get some light. She just shed. There is her skin. Now, what I have to say is we can remove the skin. I mean, she just finished up. Wow, she really got that dirty. But it's still soft and pliable. We'll check it here in a second. But this means I have to get the incubator ready because within 7 to 10 days from now, if she is gravid, is this is when... And she still looks really, really plump. So this will be when she lays her eggs, which was seven to ten days. As you see from this point right there and down, kind of looks plump, as you see. So if that was her pre-lay shed, seven to ten days. We'll watch her go in here. Maybe get some more light in there. I don't know. Sorry about the light situation. But you see that tail? Looks like she might be gravid. So, I got to keep an eye on her now for 7 to 10 days. So now I'm going to set the incubator up. And I'm going to show you how I set the incubator up, okay? She's got fresh water. Before I go any further, I'm one that always checks for eye caps. And I'll check this in a second. It's kind of hard for me to see with it being so dirty. Oh, no, there's one and there's two. Yep, they're both on there. One there, one right there. <sighs> kind of dirty, but we'll see. I don't know if you guys can see that eye cap. There's one there and one there. But then if you look, there's her under nose. Right, oops. Right there. There's the eye cap white. Oops, right there and there. So let me get this, I'll get, I do colubrid eggs on vermiculite. Um, Reach Out Ranch had a good way of doing their, um, sorry, Reach Out Ranch just did a video on how they set up an incubator. Now that incubator method that he's doing is very old and it's very efficient. And um, I left my comment on her. I'm like, uh, you know, that's a method that we used 30 something years ago. And he goes, he was waiting for somebody to see if anybody remembered that method of um, of breeding, of, of incubating eggs. And I do remember that very well. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna set this up. And I'm going to show you how I set the incubator up. Now, we're going to keep an eye on her, check her, you know, 7 to 10 days. If we're lucky, we'll have some eggs, I hope. Anyway, and I hope they're not all slugs. So, here we go, guys. We're going to go and set this incubator up. Okay. <clears throat> I got my vermiculite. I have a hole in the side here with the thermometer in, and then I seal it with duct tape, because duct tape works the best. But then... I put a tiny, there's a tiny little hole at this end, and there's a tiny little hole at this end, which I have to punch through the duct tape now. There's a hole here, I gotta punch it through the duct tape, and then there's a hole right there. Tiny one, like a pin size hole. But I don't know, you guys, these containers I find are the best. I don't know if you've ever been to the grocery store and bought salads, like the organic salad mix. These containers are excellent because they, number one, they seal perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see that. They seal perfect. I mean, that's sealed tight. Look. But let me show you something. Let me get it back open here. Uh, the vermiculite, I don't weigh nothing. I put the vermiculite in. I add water until I can do this. I make what they call the snowball. 
If I can make that, it's perfect. It doesn't, uh, no water, no matter how hard I squeeze, water will not come out of it, but it'll hold a shape. See, and then you can crumble it. See, I'm gonna squeeze it. Nothing, I'll grab some here and hold it up in front of you. Got some loose right there. Look, now look, look, let me get that on. Ah, no water comes out, but it holds together. That's perfect. Now, you can, if, if you find out the eggs are getting dry, you can always add water in the corners or get sponge and moss, wet the moss, and set it in there on top. That works about the best. Um, I got some new sponge and moss coming. If it ain't here by the time it goes, I will just do it this way. But I always get the incubator running a good week to make sure we're having no glitches or anything in there. The actual temperature inside is 76. I don't know if you guys could read that. And I have it set to 70. I mean, I have it set to 83. That's good for gecko eggs and cooler bird eggs. So now I'm going to close this up like so. Take my little thermometer and I'm going to set it right there. Now that's a little warm because I used some warm water, some warm water in here. And, uh, you know, then we're going to go from there. We're going to see how this holds its humidity. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Now that's what it looks like on the inside. I know this is a small little incubator. It's not going to be my big one. I got a few designs in my head to make some different types of incubators that I'm going to go through. Uh, this is just like a backup emergency incubator. Um, you know, and we'll go from there. We'll see how this goes. All right. Um, I'm going to check everything tomorrow or later tonight. I might even come down later tonight, but maybe in the next vlog as to what how it's holding temperature and how it's doing these are very important to keep the water move to keep the air flowing and keep it warm once you open it up and then as if if, if i'm lucky enough to get eggs i am going to show you the process i take in setting them up and once i get them set up I'm going to take you through the process of how I do when I hatch. Alright. How you monitor them and everything. So, let's move on to something else. This is very interesting. Exciting, exciting times. Alright. I'll be back. Alright, people. I found some interesting facts out about this female. I found out that she is 100% het for pot, uh, for, I was going to say it again, but not, not going to do it. She's 100% het for albino. So now I need to find some albino things to throw to her. Hopefully she goes. If she doesn't go, then we'll work on breeding her with something else. I don't know. She's refusing food, so I don't know if that's a good sign or not. see something here all right oops so we'll go from there Oh, Got to clean cages today at some point. That might be in tomorrow's vlog. And there she is. Always wasting her calcium. I don't get it. You know what? God, that was the end of my calcium. I got to pick that up and put it back in there and get you more. Let's get out and look at something else. There she is, and there he is, all the way over there. Oh boy.
Well, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check the link below for one, we got shirts. For two, we did the podcast and it came out perfect. You guys will love it. The link is in the description below. Click on it and go listen to the episode. Um, we had uh, Going Youper on there. We had Jason. I was on there. Or Going Youper, Boxing Boa, and Slashmaster1989 and myself. We were all on there. We did a great, I think it was a great episode. I, the guy, You guys did great. You guys are excellent. And we're trying to come up with a name for the show. A new name. It's a podcast that was out a while ago. But now we're, we're trying to, we're redoing it, so we need to come up with a new name. So if you guys could think of a name for it, you know, we're going to cover constant topics. You guys can give us suggestions for topics. You guys will be able to call in, talk on the show, everything. You know, we'll get you on the air and everything. And uh, you, you let us know what you, uh, what you think and, you know, come up with some ideas for us. And that'll be in the link in the description below along with uh, the shirts and Go subscribe to every single person in the link below. BC Pythons is good. Boxing Boa. Uh, going Uper Slash Master. CMC Reptiles. Uh, and the list goes on. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Go buy a shirt. Proceeds go towards... Um... St. Jude to help children and things like, and that goes for that. And then the show is just for fun. We're a bunch of people. We like all the same things. And we, we can honor. We'll even cover topics that you want us to cover. If you have something, we'll, we'll do we'll do our best to cover it. So, uh, yeah. Peace. And don't forget, we're probably tomorrow's vlog. We'll probably, which would not be... Well, Sunday's vlog, I guess that would... No, 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 Monday's. Monday's vlog will be all Emma answering your questions. So, yesterday's vlog, vlog number 98, Emma asked people like, can they go on that one and ask Emma a question? Uh, and vlog 100 will probably be Emma answering the questions. And then we got to do a Q&A for Becky yet and so on and so forth, so... Um, again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Wow.